so now let's actually uh, do some SEO here so we will do or we'll add some basic SEO in our project so for that reason uh, we installed a plugin already and we need to configure the plugin so we will use uh, react helmet and in this specific case uh, we already have the Garcia plugin react helmet which we need to add here so let's say also add our plugin Gatsby Gatsby plugin react helmet so this will be for our SEO and if I save it will uh, reload the server so it is reloading the server so in the meantime let's create a component in our uh, components folder here in our components folder let's get a new file with the name of uh, we can do something like seo.js let me actually make it capital L SEO fine and uh, after that here in our uh, this file we can create rfce so here in our file uh, let me actually change the name here and make it seo and we need to export default seo and uh, inside this file we need to return our helmet so we instead of returning this div let's re uh, let's actually return our helmet helmet so which will be coming from react helmet awesome and inside this helmet uh, we can pass our uh, seo stuff we can pass our meta and anything so let me actually show you if i pass the title here so hello world and if i save and after that we need to uh, use this as your component in our home page so let's actually create a fragment right now in our index page so inside this fragment we have our hero section and after that we can now add our SEO so this will be component from the SEO as you can see so let's rename this right now it is capital SEO and once we do I can see my title as you can see so hello world so that's how this seo um, direct helmet works but what we really want is we want to get the information which we mentioned in our gatsby config which is this title site url and the description in this case we want to have the title description only so we need to actually get this data and this data is in our uh, graphql data layer and we need to get that from our query so first of all let's see from our gatsby data layer sorry graphql data layer here and also you can uh, see the url of this uh, of this graphql if you uh, uh, scroll up so whenever you will uh, start the server you will see this is the normal uh, front end url and after that you will see this graphql data layer url so you can open from here as well so this is the graphical playground where you will actually run your graphql query interesting so the thing that i want to show you is in this uh, playground is if you go to the left side you will see this all query is available right now in your graphql data layer so what you need to do is uh, you need to just make your query if you do not actually um, if you are not familiar with the graphql you can write or you can build your query from this uh, from this left sidebar so i will show you that right now so right now uh, we want to have our uh, site meta and for that we need to go to our site so here is the site and if i open that as you can see that our query is already uh, written for the site so also from the site we want to have the site metadata so for that i can see my site metadata here so this blue one so if i open that i can see it is updated in the site metadata uh, we can see our description and the title so these two needs to be selected and after that i can see my query is ready and you can test your query by running your query here and you can see it is actually um, sending back this description and the title awesome so next thing that you need to do is you need to copy your query from here and you need to use it in your website or in your project so in our SEO let's come here and here we will use our aesthetic query so let's do that so constant and uh, we will have the site 
and use a static query and here uh, we need to import use the static query from the Gatsby and here we need to pass our GraphQL query that you copied and now inside this uh, use a static query uh, we need to pass our GraphQL query so GraphQL so also we need to get GraphQL from the Gatsby and after that we need to add backticks and inside these backticks we can uh, we can pass our query so pass all the query and once you save that it should be fine and uh, let me actually make it data and console log this stuff and show you what it is actually sending us so console.log and data and that's it so if I now inspect and come here in the console I can see so many error and let's refresh so here it is I can see this object so this is the SU16 so that's the line this uh, console log we have and here if I open this object I can see another object which is site and if I open that object I can see site metadata and if I open that I can see description and the title so this structure will match this structure that we have inside the query as you can see and also you do not need this uh, query and my query basically you are actually naming your query so if you have multiple query in that case uh, UET is actually uh, it comes handy but right now we do not need to name our query and if I save that without that okay I think uh, we are actually missing something so because we are using a still components and for that we also need to add our still components uh, Gatsby plugin in our uh, Gatsby config.js so let's do it here so after all of this here let's actually add our Gatsby uh, plugin styled components and this is the plugin we already have and if I save it will reload the web page sorry it will reload the server so the server is uh, reloading as you can see I should uh, I should have done it before uh, we write any kind of so once it is done let's come here in our web page and let's reload this web page now it is fine and now it is not complaining and if I refresh I can see my data here right after that uh, we can actually use this data from this uh, variable and we can destructure our uh, site directly from this data site okay so now after that let's say that uh, constant SEO so this SEO constant will have all of our uh, dynamic SEO stuff so in this case we will add only title and the description but uh, you can add your all the stuff here so title will be the so we will actually get the title we can get the title from the parent so title and also description so we can uh, get the title and the description from the parent component and after that we can use this here so title but so if our parent component uh, do not pass any kind of a title in this case first of all we will check if we have our title from the pen component what we will do actually is we will say inside the back ticks we will add the title and after that we will say the site title that we have which is the tech hub blog so site uh, dot site metadata so site meta data if i can spell so inside the site metadata we have the title so that's what we want to grab so that's it for our title i believe and also we need to actually uh, say if our title is not actually uh, here in this case what we need to do so if our pen component do not pass any kind of title in this case we want to actually show only the title of our web page which is the site uh, dot site metadata dot title and that's it so now we can use this uh, title in our helmet so for that instead of having the title like that we can say title will be 
uh, SEO dot title so that's it and also you can do like that let me show you so the inside the title tag you can actually uh, say SEO dot title so both will work the same so you can pass this title here or you can pass it as a title tag so I think this one is looks uh, fine so now if I do that I can see my tech hub blog which is coming from this line because we are not passing any kind of title from our parent component and if I come here in our parent component as you can see that we are not passing any kind of title so now let's pass a title here so title will be the home page and if I save now it is uh, changed as you can see that if I come here in our SEO I can see this part is now working because we are having a title so awesome so after that let's also do the same thing for our description so if our description is here so let's say the description so here in the description we need to do the same thing we need to check our description if we have any kind of description from the parent component we will use it otherwise we will use the site default description which we got from the query so we can do it very easily in this case we can set directly description if it is available we will use it otherwise we will use the site dot site metadata dot description so that's how it will work and now in our meta meta and inside that uh, we can say name will be the description and uh, content will be the so we can say seo dot description awesome so now if i open this uh, if i come here in the inspector and if i open my head tag i should see my description uh, here is the meta and here is the description as you can see so this description is coming from our query if i open my config file i can see this description so this is where this description is coming from but you can change it from your seo so directly you need to just pass that description like here so this is custom so if i save that now as you can see that it is changed and now he is saying that this is custom so that's it uh, in this case we will use the default uh, description and for the home page i do not wanna uh, write this home title so i just wanna show the tag hub block so for that we do not need to pass any kind of title from our parent so if i save that it will be default tag hub blog which is fine for our home page so that's it for our seo i think uh, if i come here in the seo yeah everything is fine so that's it for this video